In this video, we are going to learn about how to create a schematic symbol and PCB footprint for JST connectors. To be specific, we are working with XH connectors with a 2.54 mm pitch. Hi everyone, I am Vaibhav Sugandhi, co-creator at Link Frequency. So let's get started. This video is divided into four important parts. First one is understanding the datasheet and understanding the type of connectors available in XH category of JST connectors. Second step is to creating a schematic symbol using EasyEDA. Third step is all about creating a PCB footprint using EasyEDA by following IPC standards. Last but not the least, fourth step is to combining a schematic symbol and PCB footprint that you have created to create a component library so that you can use it for your future references. All right, now we are seeing the datasheet of XH connector. JST connectors are the connectors category, among which XH connector is the one subcategory. Within that, we have a different footprints or a different pitch for each of the connector. One which I'm selecting for this video recording is all about 2.54 mm pitch, which is standard in IPC. In these connectors also, we have a two types. One is a side entry, another one is a top entry, which basically means if you are plugging the connector from the right angled way or on the horizontal of the PCB, then it is called a side angled. If you are plugging the connector from the top side, then it is called a top entry. These are the major understanding which you have to have before starting with the schematic symbol. Now this datasheet will give you a detailed explanation about what is the pitch of this connector. Generically, it is called as 2.5 mm instead of saying a 2.54 mm. And it is a disconnectable crimp style connector, which means it is one way connector. You cannot connect this connector in a reverse way, which is very helpful in case of very discrete design industries where you do not want to connect the signals in a wrong way. Electrical specifications of this connector is given in this datasheet, which I'm not going to focus in this particular video. But what I'm going to focus is understanding how to design a schematic symbol and PCB footprint for this connector. If I scroll a little bit down, you can see a various tons of dimensions and detailed analysis of this entire connector of this XH category. But we are not focusing on all the details, but what we are focusing on is through hole two pin connector so that it is easy for anyone to understand. Here we have a detail. We can see that the two pin connectors information is directly given because it is straightforward. If you go for three pin, four pin and up to 20 pin, you can compute the dimensions based on the number of pins and given in this particular table. And each and every connector has its own part number. That is very essential for you to order this connector from the manufacturer or supplier. So make sure that which connector you are using, you select this specific part number for that. In this data sheet, you can see that this two pin connector is having a dimension or the pitch of A and the total body width is B and also body length is given already as a 5.75 mm. So this A and B information is given in this table. You can see the circuits, which is indicated as a pins. I don't know why they call it as a circuits, but still uh, we can consider two pin connector here and we can see that the A is 2.5 mm and B is 7.4 mm. Using these three information, we can create a PCB footprint as per the requirement and as per the data sheet following IPC standard. And designing a schematic symbol is not a big deal because it is just a connector, doesn't include any electrical property other than conducting uh, electrons. Now I am on EasyEDA to start with creating a schematic symbol. For that, I'll go to the file, click on the new and create a symbol. Here, I will create a schematic symbol for 2-pin XH connector. This is how schematic symbol for two pin connector is created. Because it doesn't have any electrical property or a circuitry inside, we do not configure any pin configuration. 
for example giving a electrical property to those particular pins because they can be used for any purpose by the designer and I have created this little indication at the other side of this connector just to indicate that it is one way connector. This is all your choice and aesthetically you design it as per your convenient. Now we'll save this particular connector as a JST XH connector or maybe direct XH connector. Choice is yours, give a proper name and details as we did in previous tutorials. Alright, now we are done with creating a schematic symbol and giving a proper details for this particular schematic of XH connector. Make sure that you create or you change the prefix or a designator of this connector as a J question mark because they are JST connector and they are in connectors category. You have to give a J indicator or a J prefix for this entire schematic symbol. Now it is time to go for the next step. Let's jump into the creating a PCB footprint by going to the file and going to the new and adding to the footprint. Now what we are going to do here is creating a proper uh, symbol footprint or proper uh, PCB footprint for the JST connector and give a proper IPC standards. This is how I have created a PCB footprint for 2-pin XH connector. Please note that I have considered 2.54 mm pitch instead of just considering 2.50. So it is better to consider the standard that we use and I have experimented with the real connectors while assembling on the PCB. The 2.54 mm suits very best that's why I'm going ahead with that. If you want to go with the 2.5 only, no problem you can still go ahead with that and making sure adding a little indication on the other side of the connector will make it as a very suitable for the assembly person to understand how to assemble this entire component because uh, as in given in the data sheet the distance from the mid of the pin of this connector to the edge of the body in either side is not symmetric it is one side a smaller one another side is it is a larger one so that uh, it will be indicating as a one way connector so we should make sure that that concept is also implemented in PCB layout design or in, in the uh, PCB uh, footprint design engineering so that the assembly person will get to know that. You can add a little marking on the other side as well that is also fine but I have added one line just to indicate it is a one way connector. Once we, did, we are done with this we have to save it and continue with the process. Now we are done with the creating a PCB footprint for XH connector, 2-pin connector. It's time to go for the fourth step. It is all about combining both of them and creating a library. It's pretty simple and straightforward. I'll go to the schematic symbol that I have created just now and I'll click on the footprint option. 
there I will search for the connector that I have just recently designed that is all about JST underscore XH 2 pin and 2.54 mm pitch so when I receive or when I see this particular option I have created this connector previously as well that's why you can see most of the options here but still in your case it will be only one which you have just now created so that's why make sure that you give a proper name for your footprint so that it is easy for you to search even after a several years so once I'm clicking on this particular option that is visible to us, you can see that one connector that I've recently created will be visible to me. And to attach it to the schematic symbol, I'll double click on it, or maybe we can click on the update footprint. Once we are done with that, we can come back and save the schematic symbol. Hola, now you are done with creating a schematic symbol and PCB footprint for JST XH connector. All right, it is as easy as that one to create a two pin XH connector schematic symbol and PCB footprint. I hope you enjoyed the entire process of creating component library in this tutorial. If you are someone who is interested to learn about PCB designing and wanted to upgrade your skills using EZEDA as a PCB designer or a hardware engineer, please check out our entire course tutorial available for free to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you again in the next video. Until then, tune yourself to make a difference.